as it was 100 years later in 1964 as three young men who were working as unpaid volunteers lost their lives as they worked to prepare people in the Meridian area to become registered voters. The spirit, the potential, the energy, the heart, the deception, the strength, the skill, the evil, and the genius of all those people who both shaped the history of this city into the potential economic mecca that it could be and the potentially stagnant city that some may view it are still here today. 183 years later, Meridian, where will we go? Will we continue to talk about our potential? Or will we work together by our actions to promote good policies, Mr. Hammond, and initiatives to uplift each citizen of this city? Will we listen to the critics and the naysayers who will once again say certain things can't be done? Or will we listen to that voice from within that says, yes, we can? I believe, Meridian, we will listen to that inner voice that gives us the hope and the faith that we can move mountains. Everything we need is inside this building today. All of the educational, business, musical, artistic, athletic, and entrepreneurial talent is already here. We don't have to move to Atlanta, or to Birmingham, or to Hattiesburg, or to Jackson. We can transform Mississippi right here in Meridian, Mississippi. It starts with you, and it starts today. It is something that you can't see, but if you are here in this audience today, I know you feel it. My dad, sitting in the audience, told me, always give a person hope. Always want
and better homes, better houses, and safer neighborhoods. As he dreamed, we also dream. As a child, I'm sure that if he lost hope, he would have never left his former house in Memphis, Mississippi, where his big other siblings and his parents lived. He would not have ever been able to dream past that house and his circumstances there. I am my father's child. Meridian together for you. God 